You know, there's so much going on in a pregnant woman's mind as she's getting ready to give birth to a healthy baby that perhaps a workout is not top priority, of course. But I want you to welcome back Madeline Mosier. And, uh, you know, you're a postpartum and pregnancy coach, athletic coach, yes. I should say. Yes. What is the very first thing that, that, that you know, the women that are going through this that they need to know? Well, you know what? When it comes to fitness, one of the questions I get asked all the time is, well, can I continue to work out during pregnancy? And the answer is absolutely yes, you can. But what we wanna do is we wanna prioritize our core and our pelvic floor health. Mm -hmm. And we can do that in a couple of ways. Okay. We can adjust how we're performing our movements and our fitness. And we can also add in a breath strategy that helps to provide a bit more support and yeah. stability to our core system as we move. So we're really meeting our body where it is uh -huh. and, and um, prioritizing our core and our pelvic floor health. Okay, now, now say that you need to modify it. Can, can you do that? Absolutely, and I 100% uh, recommend modifying our movements. And my athlete, Kayla here, she is a beautiful mama to be. I mean, we are nine days away. Nine from, days away. Nine days well, away. congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and she has been moving really well throughout her pregnancy and she's continuing to do so today because uh -huh. she feels really good. So she's doing uh, a little sample strength and conditioning workout mm -hmm. and you can see that she's doing a seated single arm dumbbell press. Right. I like to opt for a seated position uh, as opposed to a standing position, particularly late in pregnancy. Right. So we can avoid pushing outward into the belly uh -huh. and creating or exacerbating pelvic health symptoms. Okay, well, what other exercises do you have? Okay. I mean, this is a good one. Yeah, this is a good one. Uh, and so our next movement is gonna go into, a, she's gonna transition into a seated, or sorry, a standing March. So uh, I love this movement uh, to uh, sub in for movements like sit-ups where we're going to sub those out mm -hmm. starting around the second trimester when we start to see doming or coning down the midline of the abdomen. Yeah. Um, so th therefore we can protect and uh, keep everything in together nicely and you'll right. notice that she's also breathing through her movements. This is really important. I'm going to touch on this in just a second. Right. Uh, so this is a great modification for sit-ups uh -huh. starting in the second trimester. Ah, yeah, right. And mm -hmm. one thing I noticed, not too aerobic not a lot of jumping up and down. What is what, what, what should the women watch out for? What should they not do? Sure, so we're reducing impact, mm -hmm. okay? So we're, our, our goal is to ultim ultimately preserve our core and pelvic floor health. So when we reduce impact, we're uh, reducing our likelihood for uh, pelvic organ prolapse, leaking, incontinence, uh, pelvic girdle pain. So we're mm -hmm. really making sure that we prioritize our core and pelvic floor health. So she's gonna go ahead and go into the next movement, okay. which is a split squat. This is a totally functional movement, particularly for parenthood. There's so much gear <laughs> right. that we have to pick up and carry. I mean, there's car seats, oh, yeah. there's strollers, there's diaper bags, there's the baby, right? You name so it. we got to pick stuff up and then we have to carry it. So she's going to farmer carry the weight across the studio here and then she's gonna perform the same movement on the other side. So we're still working the posterior chain, she's still getting in a great workout, and it is a completely functional movement for okay. real life. Okay, most of these movements, can you do it the whole nine months, the whole time? Um, pending there are no complications, you can continue to work out throughout your pregnancy, absolutely. Okay, now there's a mental aspect to mm -hmm. this. If you do this over the nine months while you're pregnant, mm -hmm. does, do you think it cuts down on like postpartum depression uh, and things? Potentially, potentially. Uh, Working out always helps to elevate our mood and helps us to feel better. So adding in uh, a workout and moving your body in ways that feel good. But I always tell my athletes, train when you can, rest when you should. It is so important to lean into your body and understand what you're feeling and what uh, all the changes that are happening. All right. uh, our last movement here she's gonna show really quickly uh, is an inclined but, but plank, get out of the okay? Way. Yeah. yeah, right, right, out of the way, right, right, get out of the way. So as opposed to holding a plank on the floor, we're adding in a modification. Uh -huh. We're doing this from an inclined position, so that way, again, we're providing more support to the belly. We're not fighting against gravity. And it, it, core, core must be very important. It's absolutely important, and we want to, uh, try to maintain the integrity of our core as much as possible during mm -hmm. pregnancy because there's so much stress. Our baby, or in some cases babies, mm -hmm. right. right, are growing. Uh, it's We're changing our body. It changes so much about our body. So making sure that we meet our body where it is with our yeah. fitness is really important. Well, well, thanks for keeping everybody healthy. How can folks find out more? Okay, great. So I am available at MadelineTimFitness.com or you can find me on Instagram at Madeline Mosier. Okay, all right. Well, thanks for being yes. with us today. And thank you for being with us as well. Great job working <laughs> out there. All right, stay with us.